Dr. Fizz here on the Lorentz Transformation. Michelson and Murley did an experiment in 1887 which showed that light behaves not like they thought at the time. Something funny was going on and Lorentz came up with a mathematical transformation to replace the Galilean transformation that would help explain these results. However, we have to wait until relativity comes out with Einstein to understand these equations from the point of view of a fundamental theory. Well, what did Lorentz come up with? Well, he said that x prime in the moving frame, that coordinate is given by the Galilean transformation modified by dividing by the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared. And here for the time transformation we have a more complicated result. There is not an absolute time here but actually t prime is different than t. We're going to derive these equations in the next section. For now though notice that there's an easy way to kind of remember them. You take the Galilean transformation and divide by a quantity that comes up a lot in relativity theory and that's the square root of 1 minus v squared over c squared. Then for the time transformation just like you have an x prime here and an x and a minus vt you have a t prime here a t and a minus vx. So x prime here t prime x here t minus sign minus sign vt and vx. Now however vx does not have the right dimensions of time. So what we do is we divide by 1c to make v over c dimensionless and then we divide x by c because if you have x which is meters and divide by speed which is meters per second the meters per second will flip and you'll have seconds over meters so the meter cancels meters and you wind up with seconds and that's an easy way to remember this very very important pair of equations.